Welcome to the channel rather dubiously called Rufio. I'm the best YouTuber in my street, a very average player who uses this platform to trick you into thinking I'm good at and capable of playing Yu-Gi-Oh on any kind of level at all. Before we get started, why don't you hit subscribe for me, even if it's not because you secretly enjoy bad content, but because you pity me. I need every bit of help I can get. Hi guys, Joe here from Rufio. Apologies if there is any noise in the background. We are at our locals recording and uh, things haven't quite finished up here yet, so it's still a little bit noisy, but hopefully you can hear everything you need to hear. And uh, we've got Liam back on the channel again as, uh, as a channel regular at this stage. And he's going to be showing off his zombie deck that he played today at Locals. Uh, just to maybe give you some ideas if you're thinking about playing the deck yourself. Uh, obviously things may change going into the Master Rule, but I yeah, yeah, hopefully yeah. give people some ideas. Yeah, um, it's not ready for new Master Rule, but it could be played with new Master Rule quite easily. So, because you don't really use a lot of the extra deck so much. Yeah. So, I mean, I guess you just pack it out with like utility cards. Yeah, it's like more. this is more choice options and if I have the bodies to be able to make it i will go for it yeah other than that all right okay perfect so uh shall we get stuck in yeah let's go okay so we'll take a look at the main deck now i'm just going to zoom in there for you guys okay sure so take us through your uh your choices yep so we'll start with the uh zombies and the threes off so uh three unit zombies yeah utility card uh it can send from hand to grave once per turn so yeah increase the level of zombie on the field it can also send from deck to grave yeah so, so it's, just your it's right? also a tuner that can potentially be level five as well so Pretty it doesn't nice. come up too much but on occasion. Yeah. Sending to Grave is good. So next up we've got three copies of Necro Banshee. Yep. So I'm only playing three now because they leech, we don't have two Terraforming anymore. And yep. I haven't touched his deck since last ban list. Yep. So literally it is quick effect. It can activate Zombie World straight from deck from e by banishing either from field or graveyard. Yep. And while it is in play you can't target my Zombie World. So yep. Okay, nice cool. Nice and simple. Uh, three Shirinui Solitaire. Yep. So this is literally Really just your main searcher, so you tribute it to search out a tuner with zero defense. Mm -hmm. So this just gets straight into unit zombies, so you can start digging three deck. Yep. Also playing three Mizuki. Yeah, I think you have to. So, yeah, uh, you can just be banished to special summon a zombie from grave. Yep. So really nice, really simple, really pretty. Yeah, yeah, got the secrets, the good, the good rarity. Damn straight. So uh, I'm then playing two Gozuki now. Yep. So, so the second one, does that come up a lot or? Uh, it has come up more often than not now because I want to get stuff engraved and there's less ways to be able to do it now. Yeah, that's fair. So uh, it's also a quick way, it's basically more consistency trying to get the Necro Banshee or something like that into the grave straight away. Yeah, I guess it has like these scenarios as well where yeah. when it goes to grave you can banish like a solitaire say and things like that. Yeah, like if you want to do that. Yeah, I can do that when this gets If, you, like, if you're on a board, sure yeah. it anyway. Yeah, so you can special summon a zombie from hand when he's sent to grave by banishing another zombie in the grave. Yeah, yeah. For sure. So you have two copies of Glow of Bloom. Yep. Because this card is insane. Yep. So if you control Zombie World, um, you can special summon a level five or higher monster by banishing it from the grave when it is sent to the grave. Yeah. So basically, so, you get a battle drop. Yeah. If not, um, if you manage to interrupt my Zombie World before that, I can add a level five or higher to hand. Yeah. Just so, quite as good, but I mean, it's still. Out yeah. The there's a few. There's a few niche hand trap style stuff as well. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Fair. Yeah. So insane, and it's a tuner again. So, two copies of the big daddy himself. This card's broken. Card's so, so, so good. Yeah. Uh, junior standby phases. If you if there is a field spell in play, it doesn't have to be zombie world. Yeah. Your special opponent. summons from the graveyard. Sure. In defense position. Uh, once per turn, when a zombie world monster activates effect, I can either banish or banish a card on the field, or I can negate the activation of that zombie monster's effect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, in each of those are once per turn. So, it's a negate and a banish once per turn. Pretty nice. Yeah, Pretty nice. Insane. And it's big as well. Yeah, it's also the biggest target for Call by the Grave. And I found that today. <laughs> yeah, I bet. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're getting rid of that at the first opportunity. Yeah, no. Uh, on to the one-offs now for the map. Um, the zombie package. So one Jack I Bowman. Yeah, this card's really good actually. So it's literally just in there is an extender. So I can discard a zombie monster to special summon him from hand. Yeah. So he basically comes up in the moments if you pop my um, zombie world. Mm -hmm. Add this to hand instead. So, but also during your turn, I can banish him until the end phase to special summon a mob, zombie monster from either graveyard. Yeah. But the card gets banished when it leaves the field. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So if you've got something big in your graveyard, and obviously I'm, you're in, you're on the zombie world, I can just pull your big links out of the graveyard. Yeah, yeah, and then get rid of them, so not coming back. And then get rid of them, and then this guy comes back during the end phase as well. Anyway, and he's twenty two hundred defense, which is nice. Yep. 
Yeah, I, I like this card. He's it's also a level cool. seven, so if I want to synchro level eight, I can you if I special summon this, I can then use blow up bolt yep. as a normal summon to then synchro level eight. Yep. So uh, one crown line. Yep. This card's good. Yeah, really, he's really literally good. just in there for battle phase control. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so I can special summon it, and I can pay life points up to three thousand to manipulate battle damage. I mean, I guess that's what you want to do in this deck, isn't it? You want to kind of lock it. It's almost like a stun build in a way. Yeah, yeah. This is this is a go first stun sort of build. So I want to set up first, have negate on board. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just you take probably be able to play through some of them, but I want to stop you doing everything you can do. Yeah, that's fair. So onto the hand traps. So uh, three ash blossom. Yeah. Benefit of it being a zombie as well, right? Yeah, it's a zombie. It's also a level three tuner. Yeah. So it fits all the bills. Yeah. I don't need to explain the effect. I'm also playing three John and Lockwood. Yeah. Has that come up much today, or? Uh, it has come up a fair bit. There's been a fair bit of padding. So also spirals and heroes everywhere. Yeah, that's so, fair. That's fair. Uh, it, it has been the first choice to be sided out for me. Yeah. But when it has come up, it has won games. Okay, so, fair enough. Uh, uh, we're now on to spells. Yeah. So, uh, obviously, three copies of Zombie World. Kind of needed. Yeah. So, everything becomes zombie and on field and in grave. Yeah. And you can't tribute someone except for zombie type monsters. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Not that that comes out because uh, true uh, Draco isn't a thing anymore. <laughs> but. Yeah. Just everything being a zombie cuts a lot of people. Yeah, it's just like a small interaction. Uh, three copies of Super Poly. Yep. So, Cards insane. Yeah. You can use your stuff, it's all zombies. I've got targets that need zombies in my extra deck. It's good going first and second as well, I guess. Oh yeah, no, it's insane. Uh, one copy of one form. Yep. This is just for consistency. You can discard a zombie to the field to the graveyard to special summon Glark Blue. Yeah. So if I've got Glark Bloom I can go into Link Reaper, which then sets the whole combo off. Yep. Uh, one copy of terraforming, self-explanatory. Yep. One foolish burial, self again self-explanatory. And then the one copy of monster reborn. Yep. Self-explanatory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Reborn the monster. Bring something back. Uh, if I if there's no field spell, at least I can get Balor drop back out for a turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's fair. Yeah. And then onto the traps. Three copies of rivalry of warlords. That locks nice. Without yeah, the, uh, so the everything becomes market. a zombie. You can't play anything that is not a zombie if you've got a monster on the board. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. So it's just combo killer. Yeah, you can literally just take as long as you need to set up whatever card you need and just kill your opponent. Yeah, literally. Yeah, yeah. So most people, as soon as they see that and they don't have a back row destruction, they just That's scoop. it, it's game, yeah. So cheap wins. And then one copy of Metaverse. Yeah, and that's presumably just gets you straight into your thing. Right? Yeah, straight into Zombie World. I mean, I am tempted to drop a couple of the cards and put in Demise of the Land instead. Okay. Because it's Sturt 3. Yeah. So, but the only downside is if I have to go first and I have to sit with no Zombie World. Whereas yeah. I'd rather just do it in standby phase. Yeah, that makes sense. Extra deck. So we'll start with the links. So one bottle sword. Yep. Win button. It goes into all of my decks. So, uh, one borrow load. Yep. Uh, this comes up more and more now. Yeah, I find that actually. I, like, literally, like, the fact that it can't be targeted with monster effects is insane. So, no Siliquitous, <laughs> no being able to, like, pop it off of other yeah, cards. Yeah, there's a lot of cards that struggle yeah. to do this. No Nightmare Unicorn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. So, that's for the Link Force. Link 3, one Nightmare Unicorn. Mm -hmm. So, it's universal utility. removal. Yeah, 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 for sure. Uh, onto the link to one nightmare phoenix. Yep. So just for back row hate. Yep. Two copies of vampire sucker. Yeah, you churn through those pretty quick. To be fair. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just the fact that it, it, it synergizes really well with Baladrock. Yep. Special summon, and then I can draw a card off of that as well. So yep. If I draw into hand trap, I'm even more set up. Yep. So I'm also playing one copy of Even Dread Savior. Okay. So what does this do? Uh, so this I comes up. This comes up a hell of a lot, and it's like the top effect doesn't really matter too much. Yep. So because you can just add an Even Dread card. Back from your graveyard to your hand. Right. But the bottom effect, which is during damage calculation, mm -hmm. this is what comes up. So you can send a zombie monster from your deck to the graveyard. Yeah. Your opponent's monster loses 200 attack points for each level that monster has. Right, okay. So again, it's more battle damage manipulation. Yeah. Plus, I can also send something like Glow Up Bloom or uh, Necro Banshee during damage calculation to the which graveyard. Nice, nice. So then you can't deal with that till after damage calculation. Then if you try and call by the grave it, I can then respond with it because they are quick effects. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, onto the link ones. Yeah. Just the one little lonely link reaver. Get rid of that bloom. 
Get Literally just to get Bloom off the board if I have to normal summon it. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. So you get those combos going. So we're on to fusions now because I play three super polys as you've probably seen. Yeah. So one Drago Necro Nether Soul Dragon. Yeah. So he's literally just because it needs two zombies to make and it's the 3k beat up. Yeah. So the only downside of this is you've got monsters on the board. Your monsters aren't destroyed as a result of battle. Yeah. But I get a token that is a copy of your monster. So it mimics the level and it mimics the um, name and the attack and defense stats. As a note as well, this is a dragon. I remember I made the mistake of playing against someone. I think it was you yeah. actually. And I side, I put this in my action egg thinking, ah, I can super poly him under... Uh, under, yeah, under like rivalry. In, under it rivalry, and it doesn't work. Yes, so dragon. This is literally, if I get rivalry, I'm not going into the extra deck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Except for the vampire. You don't need to because no. your opponent can't play. So either, this so. is literally just it. If your opponent can make those plays, I can deal with your option. Yeah. yeah, okay. That's fair. So, uh, Dark is still prevalent, so we're playing one star and fusion dragon. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. So. Yeah. Fusion decks are coming out of the woodwork, and this is in mainly for Master Rule 5 because people are already teasing with it. Yeah, yeah. One Dragster for Pain, yeah. Because one Fusion and one Dark. Easy enough. So I can also use my own Fusions as well. Yep. Yeah. So, uh, Cyburst decks are becoming a bit more prevalent. Oh, you're Sorry. welcome. Who gave yeah. you the hook up with that? Shout out to Rufio for hooking me up with this <laughs> wonderful rare card. I told you it's a cool card, man. Yeah, so it just needs any Cyburst and one Link monster. It becomes a massive beat stick. It's like a, it's like a Fusion. Yeah, 2300 attack, so it's just. Literally sheer beat stick, it gets over salad, it gets over Ignisters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Marine Cess. You can wrap up your opponent's forward as well. Yeah. Which is nice. I can also use my own Link Arebo if I need to, and then any other Link monster that your opponent's got on board. Yep, yeah, makes sense. So, and I'm also playing because we don't like spirals. One well, Almagy. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. So, just to get thread of three Link monsters off the board. Yep. So, why not? And synchros? Yeah, I only running two synchros. So yeah. one side frame all day mega. Yeah. Because hand control. And it and it can shuffle back your banished. So, well not shuffle back, but put your banished back into your grave as well, which yeah, is nice. Which is really nice. And I'm playing one red eye zombie netro dragon. Okay. Does that come up or but I guess uh, if you're switching everything to zombie, it's gone. Yeah, everything becomes a zombie. So this gains hundred attack and defence for each zombie monster on the field and in both graveyards. Yeah. So also when it once per turn when a monster is destroyed. Doesn't matter whether it's by battle or not, I can special summon a zombie from either player's graveyard. Okay, nice. So it just means I can start robbing stuff out of your grave. So this come up in a game against Cyber Dragon player, it's okay to beat over, summon their Cyber Dragon to my side of the field so then they can't Cyber Neck overflow me. Yeah, okay, fair enough. So. Right, let's see that side deck then. So uh, I pride myself on going first with this deck. So my sideboard is literally just, so if I have to go second, I can literally just side a load of stuff in. So, if I'm going second against Monster Heavy decks, three Nibiru. Yep. So, pretty universal card. Pretty universal. Um, then if if I'm going second, I can then just drop the zombie or make it a zombie and link it off. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, but 3,000 is still a good beat stick. Yep. Three copies of Lightning Storm. That's easy wins. Yep, literally. So, the field, yeah, it's, it's pretty nice to be fair. The amount of times, yeah, it makes a hell of a difference. So, again, front row or back row, which is why I'm playing this. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, because I need to discard a hell of a lot for like um, one for one super bonus and stuff, I don't actually change. I'm playing Cosmic Cyclone instead of Twin Twisters. Right, so you can hold some hand resources. Yeah, it literally is in there. It also banishes as well, which I like. Yeah, that's fair. So, it's just literally back row removal and it's permanent back row removal. removal. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm also playing three copies that evenly matched. Yep. So, again, going second, one mass field P removal. Punish your opponent if they overcommit. Yep. It's so, so nice. Uh, two copies of D-Barrier. Yep. Again, because it's coming up to Master Rule 5, everyone's starting to tease the fusion. Everyone's been playing like Shadows yeah. and shit, haven't they? As yeah, well, literally. So. Shadows is like. Invoked. Most of the sideboard and it is to kill off Shadow Invoked. Yeah, that's, that's fair enough. And I'm playing one copy of Red Reboot. Yeah, because it's at one. Yeah, not, which not like Jamie, who decides yeah. he's playing three in the side. Yeah, which, um, yeah, no three in the side. Jamie yeah. the Kid Zero Zero looking at you. Yeah. Um, but this will pop, this might actually change because it hasn't come up a hell of a lot. I yeah, mean, I mean, at one, third, I mean, you're not going to see it. Like, yeah. Especially if you make one first, it'll probably become the third D barrier. Okay. Providing cool. this doesn't get hit. Okay, sweet. Well, uh, that's pretty cool. And uh, how are you finding the deck, as, uh, uh, like on the whole? Um, when it wants to behave, it's amazing. So yep. Generally, people can't break through everything. There's a few changes I want to make already. So I'd like to add in field barriers and demise of the lands. Yep. Just to protect the zombie world while it's out. Yep. 
So because I find I die very quickly to have any form of back throw hate because mm. I can't negate your spell and traps that can pop it. Yeah. But on the whole, it's really nice. It's relatively consistent. Yeah. So and it can answer most problems that are being dropped to the board by the opponent as well. It's quite a fun deck to play as well. I yeah, like I mean, when I was toying with it. I always had a soft spot for. I always keep coming back to like the fluffles and the heroes. <laughs> but um, it probably like as far as a competitive level goes, it would probably do all right at regional yeah, yeah. or something like that. But I probably like if I was going to go to a YCS or a national event. Yeah. Um, I'd probably take something different. Yeah, that's fair enough. But it's one that I have fun with, and if I want to get a few cheap wins at locals, yeah, no one knows how to play against it, I'll go for it. Fair enough. Okay, cool. Well, thank you very much for taking the time to do the profile. That's and the right. shout outs before we go? Uh, shout out to Mark and Manuscrew for the best locals. Yeah, in the link, local facility. link will be uh, in the description of the video. Yep, so um, really nice, nice area, nice place, nice staff. Gives us the space to record these videos as well, which is exactly, really nice. Yeah. Nearly got stuck in the basement. Almost, almost. Almost. Uh, shout out to Rufio for having me on the channel. You're so very welcome. Thank you very always much. Always nice. Like to help with the content. Yeah, man. Uh, and finally, shout out to Jam Jam Cards UK. I think uh, like half of them sat over there. <laughs> he sat over there counting his money like Mr. Krabs. Yeah, so uh, without Jam Jam Cards, we wouldn't have any of these decks, especially as four years they are. Yeah. So, uh, He's a good guy. There'll also be a link for him in the description as well. Yeah, link to his channel, link to his Facebook page. Yes. Yeah. Cool. Well, uh, thank you very much again for taking the time to check in. If you guys haven't already, please hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the garbage content I put together for you. Enough to hit subscribe and maybe even drop a thumbs up and a comment. Before you go, be sure to check out the links in the description to help support the people who are making this channel a possibility. Thanks again for checking in and I'll see you in the next one.